Let's go back to the Highlands and check out some Dalmore. Hi everyone, welcome to episode 32 of No Nonsense Whiskey Reviews. I'm Vim PF, and on today's episode we're going to go back up to the Highlands and check out the Dalmore 12 year old. This uh, here is a litre bottle, pick this up, travel retail. Cost me 50 quid, pretty much dead on. About £40 for a normal 70 sil. Bottled at 40%, definitely added colour. My bottle even has it disclosed on the back. Um, this might even be a German bottling. Can't remember where I got it from exactly. But um, as we'll go through in the review, um, I don't think that really matters. Now, um, Dalmar have kind of been a, a long staple of kind of premium quality. Uh, they kind of they stick this stag on here, you know, a little bit of special stuff, it's nice. Comes in nice boxes, that sort of thing. This is a very reasonable dram. Some of their other bottlings get a little bit expensive. Uh, they've also very recently done a uh, Richard Patterson collection or a Patterson collection. And I think that went on sale in Harrods for the best part of a million. Um, I don't know, something like that, something like 12 bottles or something like that. Utterly ridiculous. Um, but yeah, Richard Patterson is one of the uh, most famous master distillers, master blenders, I think he might be called even. Um, because he gets out on social media, he's all over YouTube, how to taste whiskey, throw it on the floor, hello, how are you, nice to see you, that sort of thing. Whatever, if you're into that, carry on. Onto the dram itself, as I said before, definitely added colour, but um, really I don't see why they do it. I mean, maybe it's to kind of match with the rest of their, their range, but those in the know would find this quite an acceptable dram, I think. Um, I think maybe, especially in travel retail, this might be aimed at the kind of present, the gift market a bit more, hence the colouring. And that's the only reason I can ever see good whiskey being in, in coloured. Let's have a smell and see what we got. Oh, I mean, I don't usually do deep um, tasting notes, but this is um, such a different dram to what I usually try. I find this, it, it, usually on like caramel, apples, blah, blah, space eye, blah, blah, blah. This one, oh, it's like, it's def yeah, caramel's in there for sure, but it's almost like a dark chocolate, dark chocolate caramel sweet or something like that. Kind of, I get raisins, like um, raisins in the little boxes you used to get. I forget, like Sun Pride or something like that. Mm. For me though, the taste is where it's at with this thing. It's lots of raisins, kind of airing onto fruitcake, that, that kind of flavours. Raisins, currants, sweet, the sweetness and the caramel is there. Maybe even a little bit of citrus airing onto the orangey side. Mm. It's really quite complex, especially for a 12 year old. <clears throat> when you compare it to other 12 year olds on the market, not even necessarily Highland or whatever. Um, I think <clears throat> I've, I've tried like a 12 year old Old Pulteney and um, it's completely different to this, completely different. Um, that is, is entirely due to the sherry casks that um, Richard Patterson hand selects. Um, they say that colouring makes no no change to the flavour, but that is um, highly disputed. Which camp do you fall on? Mm. And in terms of finish, it's not it's not long. It's not long. A little bit of spice, not like hot spice, just flavoured spice. Really nice, really nice. Um, and I think at 40 quid for a normal size bottle, it's perfectly priced. I would um, go out and buy another litre of this at an airport to be fair. If it weren't for the fact I did reviews, I try to buy bottles I haven't had before, haven't reviewed before. But if I ever get to a stage where I'm confronted with 100 bottles that I've already tried, I am quite likely to buy this again. I do like it. I don't see why they add colour to it. It seems pretty pointless to me. Um, it must come out real piss weak thin for them to want to add colour to it. Like I say, unless it's because they want to have parity across the range. 
Um, I actually haven't tried any of the, their other age statements. I've tried like the Cigar Malt. Uh, I think I've got a sample of the King Alexander III to try. Uh, and I think I might have the Lucio as well. I don't know, I've got a lot of samples. But um, yeah, they're all kind of the same colour, so maybe it's to do with that. There you go, quick um, quick video on the Downmore 12 year. Definitely recommended. Great Highland, Highland Malt. Not much more to add to that, really. It's great. There you go. So, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share. All these things are good. Some stuff will pop up, maybe. Give a couple of links uh, a click. Check out some of the other videos. Uh, I've got 31 behind this one, all to try, and that's just the reviews. I've got some other bits and bobs you can have a look at as well. Subscribe, and uh, you'll get a new video every Thursday. See you next time.